Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In this video, we want to look at some past objective questions on indices. So we'll start by looking at the first example that we have over here. So we have to find the value of x in the equation in the equation 8 raised to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 512. Now remember this is under indices. Now how do we solve this particular problem? Now in indices we deal with something we call basis, right? So now the first thing we have to do is to change what we have over here, which is the 512, right, to be a number with an exponent. Now the number in this case should be the number over here, so that there will be common basis, and then we can equate their numerators or their powers, okay? So we need to convert 512 into 8 raised to the power something. Are we okay? Now, before we actually do that, we can rewrite everything we have over here as 8 raised to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 512 can be rewritten as 512 raised to the power negative 1. Are we okay? Now, to convert 512, okay, now forget the negative 1 for now. To convert 512 into 8 uh, raised to the power something, now 8 times 8 times 8 or 8 raised to the power 3 will give us 512. So over here, I'll maintain this side, which is my left hand side, 2x plus 1 is equal to, my 508 over here will become 8 raised to the power 3, okay, that will give us 512. Remember, there is a power negative 1 over here already there, so it will multiply the 3 over here, okay. So you don't add the 3 to the power, you multiply it, are you okay? So the 8 raised to the power 3 becomes the 512 over here. So from here, because the base are the same, we equate the exponent. By base, I mean we have 8 here raised to the power 2x plus 1. We have 8 here raised to the power uh, negative 3 multiplied by 1, or basically negative 3. So what we do over here is that we equate these guys at the top or the exponent. So we have 2x plus 1 here is equal to... 3 multiplied by negative 1. So from here, I can just solve my equation. I have 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 multiplied by negative 1, giving negative 3. And then from here, I group like terms. So I maintain my 2x over here equal to, then I have my negative 3 here. Then I send a positive 1 to the other side of the equal to sign, and that becomes negative 1. So from here, I have 2x is equal to negative 3 minus 1 will give me negative 4. So because I want to find the value of x, I divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2. So after doing that, I have my x to be equal to, sorry, this is um, supposed to be just 2. So after dividing both sides by 2, I have my x to be equal to negative 2. So this becomes my answer for this particular question. What it means is that if I substitute the value of negative 2 over here, or the answer I'm going to get should be equal to what I have over here. Now let's look at that. So if x is equal to negative 2, it means taking my left hand side, it means I'll have 8 raised to the power 2x plus 1. Now that will be equal to 8 raised to the power 2. The x here is negative 2, then plus 1. Then 8 2 multiplied by negative 2 will give me negative 4 plus 1. And then uh, negative 4 plus 1 will give me negative 3. Are we okay? Which we said is the same as what we have over here. Are we okay? Or this is equal to 1 over 8 raised to the power 3. Okay, because 8 raised to the power negative 3 can be expressed as 1 over 8 raised to the power 3. And then this will be 1 over 512 as we can see on our right hand side over here so this becomes the solution for this particular problem now let's proceed to look at other examples 
So I have here another example. Given that y is equal to 2x and 3 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 27, we have to find x. All right, now let's look at the solution to this problem. Now, this problem is actually very easy and straightforward. Now, if we look at this, we've been given a preamble and then we've been given the actual equation. So all we have to do is to do substitution. We substitute this into this. So we substitute y is equal to uh, 2x into the equation we have over here to get our answer. So to do that, I first of all write my equation. 3 raised to the power x plus y is equal to 27. Are we okay? Now from here, the first thing I want to do, I want to substitute first. So in place of y over here, I'll put 2x over there. So I have here 3 raised to the power x plus, instead of writing y, I'll write 2x. So I have 2x over here. It's equal to 27. Now I have here 3 raised to the power x plus 2x will give me 3x. Okay, and that will be equal to. Now the 27 over here, I also need to convert it into uh, a number or, uh, yes, a number having a power. Okay, now that number should be 3. So that they are equal and then i can equate their exponent or powers okay so three more raised to the power what will give me 27. okay that is what you need to look at now three times three is nine times three is 27. so it means three raised to the power three is equal to 27. so over here because the bases are the same which is three and three i will now equate the powers in this case that becomes 3x is equal to the 3 over here at the top. Now remember, what I'm equating are the powers. It is this is equal to this, not the 3s that we have over here. These are the bases. These guys are the bases, okay? So we are equating this to this. So from here, we have 3x is equal to 3. We divide both sides by 3. And then this can cancel this. So therefore, our x will be equal to 1 because 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. So to prove that this our answer is correct, we need to substitute that back in here. So I have here 3 raised to the power x is 1. So that will become um, either you substitute it into this or you substitute it into the second equation over here. So let's use the second one in this particular case. So I have 3 raised to the power x plus 2x is equal to 27. Are you okay? So I have here 3 raised to the power x is 1. So here will be 1 plus 2 into bracket 1. This will be 27. So I have here 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. So this will equal to 27. And then from here, this will become 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 will give me 3. And this is equal to 27. Okay. So 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 and so therefore our answer is correct all right now let's look at uh, more examples i will be a little bit faster in the subsequent um example so we have to solve uh, 9 raised to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 81 raised to the power 3x minus 2 this is the equation we are supposed to solve right so let's look at the solution to this problem now, as always, the key in solving these questions is to find a common base, okay? A common base for you to be able to work. So, in this case, we have 9 raised to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 81 raised to the power 3x minus 2. Now, what we want to do is to find a common base, okay? And in order to do that, the bigger number here is 81. So, we try to reduce that, okay, into 9 raised to the power something. So that we can have common base. Okay. Now it so happens that 9 raised to the power 2 will give us 81, which is 9 times 9, which is 9 raised to the power or 9 squared will give us 81. So in this case, in place of 81 over here, we'll put 9 squared. Okay. Now this will now make this equation to be like this 9 raised to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to 
the 81 over here this time around let me use a different color to show that the 81 over here becomes 9 raised to the power 2 okay now these two here will now multiply the existing uh power that we have over here so it will multiply that so let me depict that with the white so we have 3x minus 2 over here so this is how the expression is going to look like now from here we can proceed to now equate our powers because we have the basis being the same are we okay so i will equate this and this so i now have 2x plus 1 is equal to the 2 here at the top into bracket 3x minus 2 so from here it's just a simple equation you solve and then you get your answer so i have here 2x plus 1 will be equal to over here i need to expand my bracket so 2 multiplied by 3 will give me 6x then minus 2 multiplied by 2 will give me 4 are we okay so from here let me continue here from here i have a 2x plus 1 is equal to 6x minus 4 so now i group like terms right i can decide to bring the 6x over here or i can decide to send the uh 2x over here so in this case i decide to send the 2x over here so it means the one will be maintained here the negative 4 here will cross the equal to sign it becomes positive 4 that will be equal to the 6x will remain here and then i will bring the negative 2 across the equal to sign that becomes negative 2 okay so the positive 2 here crosses the equal to sign it becomes negative 2 so I have here 1 plus 4, that will give me 5, and that is equal to 6x minus 2x will give me 4x, okay? So here, what I do is I divide both sides by 4, by 4, and then I get my answer for x, and so therefore the value of s is 5 over 4. Alright, now let's look at one final example. Okay, uh, so here we have to simplify. clear all things here here we have to simplify the expression 8 over 27 raised to the power negative 2 on 3 are we okay this is the expression now to solve this this is very simple we write down our solution now the first thing we want to do is that we write our question we have 8 over 27 raise the power negative 2 on 3 now the negative over here means that uh, this whole expression 8 over 27 raised to the power 2 on 3 is divided by 1 or we can rewrite the entire thing over here as 1 over 8 over 27 now the 8 over 27 will be raised to the power 2 over 3 so we can rewrite this expression as this or to get rid of the negative we reciprocate these guys okay what it means is that i will send the 27 to the top and then send the 8 to the bottom in so doing that i will cancel out the negative over here so if i do that i'll have 27 divided by 8 raised to the power 2 over 3 okay now from here what i have is that i can now use the power to multiply each uh, of the numbers i have over here so I will have here 27 raised to the power 2 over 3 on 8 raised to the power 2 over 3. Alright, so from here, what I want to do is that I want to convert uh, 27, okay, using a number that will give me the power 3 at the top. Are you okay? So, or I'll break this down. Now, to do that, if you look at, uh, if, let's use uh, 3. 3 times 3 will give us 9. 9 times 3 will give us 27. So it means that 3 raised to the power 3, okay, is equal to 27. Okay, now multiplied by the 2 over 3 already at the top, okay. So the 27 over here is just the 3 over 3 over here. And then we multiply it by the existing 2 over 3. Alright, so this will be divided by, for 8, uh, it will be 2. Okay, 2 raised to the power 3, so we have 2 raised to the power 3 over here, multiplied by the existing 2 over 3 at the top there, and then we are good to go. Now from here, we can cancel this, we'll cancel this, 
okay the 3 will cancel the 3 over here or this is just like 3 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 which will still give us 2 okay so I will cancel this will cancel this the 3 here will also cancel this so I in the end I will have 3 raised to the power 2 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 and this will be equal to 3 raised to the power 2 that, will, that is 3 times 3 that will give me 9 divided by 2 raised to the power 2 that is 2 times 2 and that will give me 4 so my final answer here is 9 over 4 so thank you so much for watching these are some uh, past objective questions on indices that um, can show you how to solve problems related to indices now I would like to use this opportunity to say that I'm launching my membership very soon so over here we have uh, the membership program where we have lessons like this and past questions solved into much detail and they will be on our membership page on YouTube platform over here so you can just go there just for a very small amount like five dollars or ten dollars you pay once and that is for all. and then you have exclusive access to all our intensive uh, tutorial videos on biology physics mathematics chemistry solved past questions guides to how to attempt exam questions and many other perks that you will enjoy if you just buy this one-time purchase membership so i would like to use this opportunity to introduce that to you and also like to plead that you support the channel by just buying one of the membership uh, programs to enjoy the benefits okay all right so thank you once again for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye